Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum reaction. And today I'm going to react to the season two finale of Atlanta. I can't believe we're here already. Episode 11, Crabs in a Barrel. Ooh, I hope this wraps up in a nice bow. Our friends have been in a lot this season from a credit card scam to Earn and Vanessa pretty much breaking up to Paperboy at the Barbershop, that fiasco. And then Darius meeting, meeting Teddy Perkins. And then Paperboy in the Woods getting jumped. And then North of the Border, where the whole gang gets friggin' chased out of a party. And then they have to smoke in front of naked Confederates. And then FUBU, the flashback. Like, so much has happened. And we're finally at the end. And I'm hoping we get a happy ending. So before I get into it, I want to thank everyone who's already subscribed. And if you want to check out some of my full reactions and exclusive content, come check me out at Patreon. But right now, we're getting into the last episode of Season 2. Episode 11, Crabs in a Barrel. Let's see where we go from here. And let's go. Sounds like church. Hmm. Oh, please, let's have some peace this episode. She keeps missing the turns. <laughs> it was the left three yeah, times. I think so. Just follow GPS. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> oh, I don't listen to the GPS. No way. Oh, my God. I've never been to this place before, so just, just He's follow GPS. Paying for a service. Oh, Letty. All right. Looks like paper boys at the bank. Sorry, I'm late. Um, my Lyft driver was religious. Um, it's fine. <laughs> so, gentlemen, I understand you're looking for an entertainment lawyer. Yes, yes, we are. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I graduated the top 10 in my class, and after school, I went to work at the Lance and Roberts Law Firm. Paperboy's already over it. <laughs> Long time. I've been here in Atlanta for Zoned out. five years now. That's basically probably with their hearing, too, because it's just like, what so are you talking you about? You represent, man. Well, I represent some singers and some rappers. I represent the rapper A.V., Oh, okay. <laughs> if he was to go with you, what would that take? Well, um, just a few signatures. Five percent. Yes, but that's the standard that any <laughs> lawyer would charge. It's hard giving up percentages, but five's not bad. I want like a high level Jewish dude. Not somebody gonna rob me like Don King or some shit. And Don King wasn't a lawyer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know. Paperboy looks good with a kid. Recommended by who, man? He ain't even got no clients that make actual money. All he got is some F level rappers and some reality TV stars. So this find me like a big level firm, man. Jewish dude. All right. Yeah. It's time to start leveling up on niggas. Ooh, Paperboy's going on tour. Nice. All right, I got I to gotta run some errands before I meet up at the house, okay? So I'll see you there. Yeah, the movie's coming by, right? Yeah. Jewish. Yeah, <laughs> Jewish dude, man. Yeah, I got you. Come on, Paperboy, man. Good dad. All right, we got some smiles early. Let's hope these writers don't flip it on us halfway through again. You guys looking for Ern? Sure is. I'm Kenny. What's going on? What's That's going? our truck? Yeah, yeah. These are the movers. Uh, the bedrooms are in the back, okay? Just 
Hurry up, we got a plane to catch. Okay. Please. Good girl. Oh, shoot. You guys packed? Yeah. I don't remember those Should swords stay. above the fireplace, the ones that they got about? last two episodes ago. Or do they only have guns there? I don't remember. You guys got your passports? Yeah, but uh, Darius gonna need some help. Oh yeah, I think mine is uh, like expired. No, Darius. <laughs> he's he's all nonchalant. I don't know. You're leaving today. Your passport's expired. Guys, don't know what they're doing. My nigga, this is definitely expired. The <laughs> place we can go, get a renewal same day. It's okay. Well, we gotta do that's that. almost. Wait, like today, right who now. does he know that could do that? <laughs> I gotta go. Where there's a when dart board, back, there's darts. Be careful. Place. I'm gonna make sure that happens, okay? Now, could you um, just stay on these guys? I'm sorry, did we come in around the same time? Oh, no, 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 not at all. How are you, Vanessa? <laughs> You must be Lottie's father, right? Hi. So nice to finally meet you. Damn, he never goes. Is everything all right? Um, she seems to be advanced, very gifted. Ooh, oh, all good. That's great news. <laughs> I thought she was pulling her hair out and eating it. So oh. Yeah. Awesome. I spoke with my friend at the Holyoke Academy. It's one of the best schools in the Southeast. And I think it might be a good idea for the two of you to consider enrolling Lottie there. Okay. Sounds expensive. Is there anything we can do with her staying here to, to help you progress? Like maybe um, some more books or assignment? This school is awful. Oh, shit. <laughs> she is really stunting her education here. Is there something we huh. could do for Lottie that um would be <laughs> cheaper? Keep her in a happy two-parent household? Huh. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. Hmm. Would you have told us that the school was bad if she really was a regular student? If I see a steer smart enough to get out of the pen, I'll leave the gate open. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. <laughs> so she just compared the school to a slaughterhouse, right? Yeah, she definitely <laughs> did. I heard that. She did. For sure. For like Good continuity. He still has the yeah, the uh, black that, eye. That should be tuition for her now. To the bridge. <laughs> Watch your head. Oh, it's a big one. I don't know how they get no, child actors like to like act. All right, I gotta, I gotta get going. I gotta make sure Darius gets his passport and gotta catch this flight. Oh, uh, so Vanessa's not going? Take it for Mama. I love you. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Stay safe. <laughs> Hello. Don't too. get into any more fights, Ern. Bye. <laughs> All right. I hope we get to see this one day passport place. Because this sounds hilarious. What the hell's going on? Man, I'm bruising this boy. Who y'all? We're Kenny's kids. Y'all want some lunch? Kids crying over a video game? It's 3 p.m. Yeah, I didn't eat before I came. 
Great, just just put your luggage <laughs> in the car, man. Oh, no, I meant to unpack to move, not to the airport. Nigga. Oh my God. Damn. Bruising that boy. Yeah, I know. Shit, wait, uh, I think I might have packed up the keys. Oh, Darius. You are not serious. Got flabbit. I think I did. Did he say got flabbit? No, I think I'm packed. Wait. Ah. <laughs> oh, God, Darius. <laughs> Darius. <laughs> when you piss, do you go straight to the zipper or do you go over the box? <laughs> over the boxes. Is that the right way though? <laughs> I don't think so. Right. Yo, what is Come on man, some of this has to be ad libbed. <laughs> yeah, we need a passport replacement today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is real? Fill out these forms and we can make it happen. Alright, thank you. I love you. Thank you. How? I really thought we were going to be SOL. <laughs> yeah, it's what we do here. Y'all uh, going on tour? We kind of have a specific clientele here. And rappers are procrastinators. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm taking. Uh, Paperboy, we're going on tour with Clark County in Europe. Oh man, that's cool. Nice. I was just listening to that new Clark joint. <laughs> Yo, y'all need an entertainment lawyer? My cousin is primo. Uh, I need ID. Let me ask you something, and um, be honest. Do you think there's a black lawyer who's as good as your cousin? <laughs> There definitely is, but um, part of being good at your job are your connections, and black people just don't have the connections that my cousin has. Systemic reasons. That makes sense. He was brutally honest. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, it's uh, $350. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you're going to get your passport done yeah, in one day, it's not going to be cheap. Thank you. How's it going, Arm? Mm. Uh, definitely not. Oh, oh man. man. Is Al going to fire me? I don't know. Maybe. I know you're always at peace with everything, but my whole world's falling apart. His whole world changing up with the quickness. Everything's moving, but yeah, he ain't gonna never forget to take care of the ones he's supposed to provide for. You know, not like y'all both black, so I mean, y'all both can't afford to fail. That was Nigerians get a chance to fail. God damn hey, don't deep. You start that. You know Nigerians don't fail. <laughs> uh, back on the couch. Ready to do this? Yeah, Darius is coming down. Don't you gotta take the truck back? Kenny's gonna do it. I offered to pay him ten dollars. We had more Dariuses in this world, man. Be a dope place to live. That's all you're bringing? Oh, yeah. Now, rule number one, pack like a Navy SEAL. <laughs> pick what you need. Lift will be here in three minutes. If you're going on tour, technically, you can just buy stuff when you get there. Come on, you know you want it. 
Three best friends hanging out. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No, no. <laughs> Oh shit, is that paper boy? <laughs> <laughs> man, we about to be popping bottles in Paris, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Lit, bro. Speaking yeah. sign language for hoes. It's gonna be dope, man. How you doing, man? Please take liquids out of your bag. Please take liquids out of your bag. Can we get through this checkpoint like nice? Up down. <laughs> what? Oh, did he forget the gun? Oh, shit. Oh, is he putting it through so he doesn't have to go? I didn't make you take all your shit off. And they try to rush to get you out of the way like they ain't just asking. We should hurry. Oh, he left it. Woo! Oh, shit. That was smart. I saw what you did. I tell you, say. Earn. Looks broken, man. Just know that's exactly what I'm talking about. Niggas gonna do whatever they gotta do to survive because they ain't got no choice. He ain't got no choice either. You're the only one that knows what I'm about. You give a fuck. He does. Where Luke at, man? Uh, nah, man. Luke got in some shit. Cops took him. He said he found a tool in his bag. Damn. Oh, it's just kind of... No, he probably has a screwdriver so he can't have it off. Fuck, Earn. Yeah, it was gold, too. Shit was clean, though. God. Shit was mine. Damn, <laughs> Earn is shady. The piece was in Clark's bag. God damn. Oh my god, he doesn't know they they moved? <laughs> what? Oh my god. How could they not tell him? I don't know why I didn't even think to ask where he was. I was so into this episode. Damn, he's gonna climb through the window. That was a really cool finale episode for this season. It gave me some stakes. Like, I was nervous throughout the whole episode, but at least it wasn't, like, nothing serious happened to anyone. It was just one of those scenarios where... By the end of the episode, something needs to happen. Like, you can't be late for it. So, throughout the episode, they're showing us little things that might go wrong to kind of screw up and make them miss their flight. So, obviously, the biggest one was the uh, passport. I mean, I don't know if they're, in real life there are any places you could do that. But, shit, imagine the day you're going somewhere as big as a freaking tour. Like, your first big tour and you don't have a passport because it's expired. So that guy gave me a heart attack, first of all. And the whole thing with Vanessa and Lottie. Like, I know Earn wants to stay there, but he he needs to do this. Like, he Earn has to go on this tour. Like Darius said, he's learning, and he needs this experience to prove to Paperboy that he could do his job to the best of his abilities and to the best of what Paperboy needs. But it must have been so hard for him to actually get on that flight because we don't know how long he's going to be away for. So it's like really hard. It seems like him and Vanessa are 
on good terms now at least they're they're talking to each other but like to leave your daughter that must be really hard like really hard and i knew the gun was going to come around once we saw it in his bag in the beginning uh i wasn't thinking like really ahead as the episode was going you know it was out of my mind but when i saw it in the beginning of the episode I had a feeling it was going to come back around. They had so much going on that I just forgot about it at that point. But once they got to the check and he had it, I, I actually thought, like I said, that he he brought it on purpose. I thought he wanted to get caught with it. So he was the one who couldn't go and he could stay with his family. And then um, when he asked for the bin, I was like, oh, okay, maybe, um, maybe he is going to do that. And then they said, whose bag is this? Then I just thought he just left it so no one could claim it. And the TSA would just be looking around like, whose is this? I had no idea who was going to put it in that dude's bag. That's kind of fucked up. It is really shady. But I mean, it's a, it's a dog eat dog world. I don't know. I couldn't tell by Paperboy's reaction. He, he was obviously not happy that he did it. But he didn't really give a reaction like a sigh, meaning this is what I mean. Like you can't do stuff like that. I'm not even sure if Paperboy is happy that it happened or if he's indifferent that it happened. But I guess now this is Earn's big shot. Like, he pulled this off. He's the one there with Paperboy. Now he has to start making things happen. And uh, I have a feeling we, we will see that in season three. Because I think the whole point of this is by the end of the series that everything works out. I have a feeling. So we'll see what, what happens while they're in Europe. And um, I'm not too sure if all of season three takes place in Europe. Again, we'll get there when we get there. Um, episode 11 was really good, Crabs in a Barrel. I'll try to get to season three, episode one, as fast as possible. I might take a week off. I'm not too sure yet. I just have a lot of stuff going on. But again, season two of Atlanta did not disappoint me. This whole season was basically about getting robbed, like something being taken from you. And in this episode, I don't even remember his name, but the white dude, like, he was robbed of his chance to go to Europe. Man, this season was a roller coaster. Like, it's amazing how they ended it. It's not a happy ending, but it's not a sad ending. After all the shit that everyone's been through, this is a good ending. Because I don't think after the previous 10 episodes, there could have actually been a happy ending. Where, like, you just forget about everything that happened. Because you can't. You can't get past all of that. Like, you just want to be able to get out on the other side. And they did, and we'll see what happens in Season 3. So, anyway, let me know. What did you think of Season 2, Episode 11, Crabs in a Barrel, the season finale of Atlanta? What did you think of my reaction? What did you think of Season 2 in general? Did you like Season 2 better than Season 1? I think I, I did. And Season 1 was great, but they just knocked Season 2 out of the park. So, if Season 3 is better than this, I don't know what's going to happen. Anyways, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you want to see some more of my full reactions and exclusive content, check me out at Patreon at Screen Sanctum. And I'll see you on the next video. And I'll see you in the next season of Atlanta. Peace, guys.